Another family in central Virginia also grieving the loss of a teenager, a 17 year old shot and killed in Petersburg Friday night. Our Jake Burns spoke with a family friend and police about how it all happened. Well, Bill and Candace, that family friend says the teenager who was killed was a good kid, grew up playing with her nieces and grandchildren. He was apparently playing basketball on the street in Petersburg when police say a mishandled firearm led to his death. He had heard a gunshot. A report from Earl Law's grandson that initially lacked context. You know, it's just so sad that his life was cut so short. A 17-year-old boy hit with a bullet outside her home on Talley Avenue in Petersburg Friday night, later died. Law says she has since found out. I spoke to the father. She knows the young man and his family. He was doing his best to hold up. And, but you know, I could see the, the, the sadness and the trauma that he was going through behind losing his son. Him and his dad had a real good relationship because they talked all the time and everywhere he wanted to go, he gonna call him and you know, and I know it's hard on him not knowing that he's not getting that phone call. As a department and as a city, our hearts go out to both families. You know, both have suffered a loss in this tragic situation. Petersburg Police Chief Travis Christian says a group of young people were playing basketball here and one of them was in possession of a gun. There was some um, mishandling of the firearm, if you will. As a result of that, the firearm was uh, discharged uh, one single shot. An 18 year old has been arrested and charged with involuntary manslaughter. Chief Christian says while the investigation remains open, they too often see guns in the hands of young people. So far this year, in the upwards of 60 plus firearms off the streets uh, that were used in an illegal capacity. Now we have another challenge, you know, how are these guns getting into the hands of our minors? and we're gonna address those issues. It's real bothersome to know that, you know, you got these young babies out here with guns on their waist or breaking in the cars, you know, doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing. Law says she constantly talks to her kids and grandkids about gun violence, a message that rings more true now, seeing the pain of the family of the young man who lost his life this way. Not to be able to see your child graduate, uh, you know, to do all the things that all the other kids are able to do right now. So it's, it's, it's pretty hard. Democrat Jennifer Carroll Foy is running for your governor and she actually grew up on that same block of Talley Avenue here in Petersburg, still has family that lives there. She says in a statement that while situations like this don't always make the headlines, they have been ringing in her mind since she grew up right here in Petersburg. Chief Christian saying this investigation remains ongoing, but Petersburg police will speak with any community member or community group about preventing gun violence and deaths in their community. Working for you in Petersburg, Jake Burns, CBS 6 News.